So you and I, we both love food, right? That's why we hang out every week. But what does it mean to be a personal chef? And what does a personal chef make? Well, let me introduce you to Lisa Adams. She's a personal chef here in New York City. For this episode, let's chat personal chefdom. Now as a personal chef, I do all the menu planning, the shopping, the preparation, and the drop off. And I'll show up and in your kitchen, you'll have like glorified leftovers that you didn't have to think about. Today, we'll make one of her go-tos. Let's take this lamb flatbread as a case study. I got referrals based on this lama June. And so now it's kind of like one of my staples. Sounds delightful. Let's make it. You'll throw parsley, mint, red onion, tomato, jalapeno peppers, paprika, sumac, za'atar, and Aleppo pepper into a food processor and blitz. So we have pureed this into a paste. Add the paste to one pound of ground lamb and mix it well, adding salt and pepper. Get your flatbread. Lisa juggles so much that she gets this ready-made gluten-free variety. Spread with olive oil and add the lamb in an even layer on top. So you want to just press, press, press. To have like a global pizza night, I think is such a great idea that you can have, you know, not your traditional Italian pizza, but let's go to Turkey tonight. It encourages families to come together. Okay, I think we're ready. Bake at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. One pound makes enough to save about half of the meat for another time. Just pop it in the freezer until then. And now's a good time to chop your parsley for garnish. It's ready to come out, the ends are crispy, and the meat is browned. Squeeze some lemon on top and add parsley, and it's ready to serve. No surprise why this is a favorite among her clients. Cheers, Katie Quinn. Cheers, Lisa. Oh man, that's delicious. Thank you. Did you say this is gluten-free? Gluten-free crust. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you can use it, you know, pita bread, whatever you want, flour tortilla. If people want to know more about you, see more of your stuff, where should they go? Allgoodthings.nyc. Even as a personal chef, can can you keep things quirky? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Always keep it quirky. Do it.